Hello again. In this video, we're going to look at another reaction of carboxylic acids, which is the alkylation of carboxylic acids. And what this allows us to do is to take a carboxylic acid and turn it into a ketone. Okay. And I'm going to give you an example and then kind of after that show you a pseudo mechanism, not really what I would consider a, a rigorous mechanism, but just a sense to give you a sense of, of, of what's going on. Okay, so uh, in this example, I'm gonna take uh, propionic acid, okay, a free carbon acid, carboxylic acid, and we're going to react it with two equivalents of methyl lithium, okay? And it's important that we're using two equivalents because each equivalent is gonna be doing something different. And then we're going to have, uh, that'll be the first step, is that we have two equivalents of methyl lithium. And then the second step is going to be um, a workup with, with H, H3O plus. Okay. Uh, and so uh, what we end up getting from this is we're going to replace the OH in the carboxylic acid with this methyl group, okay, CH3. So our net, net result here is we take a carboxylic acid and we turn it into a ketone. All right, and we're using a pretty strong base to do this, so uh, this is a strategy that's probably not going to work when there's other um, base um, susceptible functional groups. Um, all right, so let me give you a sense of, of what's going on here. <laughs> so the first thing that's going to happen is that uh, our first equivalent of methyl lithium um, is going to act as a base. Okay, so we're going to do a proton transfer here. And that will make this carboxylate species. So we have one negative charge. All right. And then our second equivalent of methyl lithium enters onto the stage. And it's going to do a different uh, elementary mechanistic step. It's going to do a nucleophilic addition. And the result at this point um, oops, those are negative charges <laughs> is a dianion. Okay. It's called a dianion because we have two negative charges, one on this oxygen and one on that oxygen. And then we have a methyl group down here, all right? And that's that's the first step of, of this tran uh, multi-step transformation. And then what we're going to do is we're going to um, add H3O plus, okay? So this could be like some strong acid in water. And we're gonna do two proton transfers. And I'm not gonna show the mechanism on each of those. I'm just gonna tell you it's proton transfer times two. All right, we're going to protonate both of those, and that gets us to this uh, diol. Okay, we've got two hydroxy groups on the same carbon. All right, and then this is in equilibrium. I'm kind of running out of room here, so I'm going to erase all this. <laughs> This would be, uh, this could be considered the hydrate of a ketone. And so this is in equilibrium under, under acid catalyzed conditions with uh, the ketone. Okay, so uh, H3O plus, H2O, okay. 
So if you remember on uh, in chapter 18, we had a, a reaction where we hydrated carbonyl compounds under acidic or basic conditions to make the hydrate, okay, ketone hydrate. But this is an equilibrium and, and you can um, cause it to go back the, the other way. Okay, or these are in equilibrium with each other. And so that, oh my, gets us to the ketone. And that concludes our lecture. Thanks for watching.